Hello beautiful creative people, Kyla Give Hand here of Giving Hands Creative and I am here to do a follow-up video to a video that I, that I uh, loaded uh, earlier showing the new Jane Davenport line of art supplies that you can purchase from Michaels um, and I talked about this butterfly effect book and I said I was going to show you guys how I play with my cover. So why don't we um, open it up and just take everything out. So I'm just going to slide everything out and if you want to learn about all these bits and pieces you can check out the video. I'll pop a little bubble or link or something up there for you guys to see. But I'm just going to move all my little inserts over to the side while I play in my journal. So the first thing um, that I want to do is I'm going to take out my elastics so that I can decorate the front of my cover. So you saw that one. That one's easily. It, it popped out pretty easily. So it's just a piece of elastic that goes through. has a little catch hook there so it doesn't come all the way through. Okay. So that one comes out pretty easy. So I'm going to take that and I'm actually going to put it over here on, on a little stand that I have so I don't lose it. <laughs> don't misplace it while I'm playing here at my art table. This one doesn't look like it's going to want to come out too nicely so I think we'll just leave it in since I'm going to be primarily working here on this back side. So what I want to do um, is I'm actually going to start with some gesso because I don't know enough about this surface to know whether or not it needs gesso but I think you can't really go wrong. I could always use clear gesso if I wanted to keep that sort of white um, background there. But I'm just going to go with my standard traditional white gesso. And I'm going to get a bunch of gesso on there and then I'll meet you back here in a second. Okay, so I went ahead and put a layer of gesso. I used my heat tool to go ahead and dry, help speed up the drying process. Not 100% dry, but eh, it's good enough. It'll work. Um, now I'm going to come in with some colors, and I just have to share that I, um, I, I am an art journaler, and I do art journal often. I don't art journal as much as I would like to, but the one thing, I, the one practice I do do every single day. Um, that doesn't get shared publicly much is my personal journaling um, and I do journal um, every morning um, sometimes I even journal in the afternoon and, 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 on, and, those, and on those days where the world has just come in too much into my life I might journal three times a day um, but, I, but I am an avid journal, journaler and one of the things I use when I do written journaling um, is I use oracle and tarot decks to um, give me inspiration and prompts and that kind of thing. So my card this morning that I chose was this cutie. Um, and this is actually from the Spirit Cats Inspirational Deck by Nicole PR. Um, it's a it's an uh, independently created and published, written and illustrated by the artist. I love to support decks that were created by the artist. You guys know that. I created my own deck. Um, not an oracle deck or a tarot deck, but an inspiration deck for mixed media artists. And um, I, so I love supporting other artists who are doing similar things. So Nicole's deck, I'll put a link down below to Spirit Cats, um, her deck. But the card that I pulled today was Magic Maker. And so I wrote, I did my journaling um, from the prompt of this. And it's really just about intention and action. It's about looking into yourself for... Um, energy and inspiration and really just claiming what you have inside of you your gifts your talents and your passion so I wrote a whole I did like about three pages on that this morning <laughs> um, so I want to take some inspiration from this card in terms of my color palette I really loved it um, and I might even go as far as using inspiration from this um, with the sacred symbols that she has there. I might do a mandala, some, something that's like a sacred symbol to me, or I might play around with the image that Nicole has on there. So I'm using her card as inspiration. So I'm just going to sit it. I'll, I'll do a snapshot for you guys and show it um, here. Uh, but I'm just going to use it as inspiration for both color and maybe even some of the symbolism there. So I'm pulling some purples and I pulled out some Payne's Gray from Golden. And 
and um, some white titanium white and a little bit of pink she's got some magenta in there so I'm just gonna try to play around with some of those colors that she has as my inspiration and I'm gonna speed it up so you don't have to watch me do every you know intricate little thing I'm gonna play a lot with my fingers and the paint I might bring in this brush I might do something with um, my gunky brayer over here but I'm gonna keep it really simple I'm gonna try not to overdo it it's just the cover of my journal and I wanna I don't want my cover to feel so precious that I actually can't come to it and use it so I'm gonna keep it really simple and I'll meet you back here on the other side So I want to pause here for a second because I am um, almost there. I've got my inspiration palette, sort of background set and based on Nicole's art. And then I wanted to do a mandala, a sacred symbol on here. And I'm pausing to just show you that I've done the pencil marks here, but I haven't actually done any black lines. So it's going to be difficult for you to maybe see right now on camera. So the next thing I'm going to do is take, um, I actually want to take some of this Payne's Gray that I have here by Golden. And I've got a little bit in a cap here. And I'm just going to water it down. It's got some gesso in there, but it should be fine. I'm just going to water it down um, because I want to use it with my dip pen and outline my color, my lines using this color. So I'm just making it really liquidy using some water and then I'm actually going to use just a dip pen to kind of not kind of to firm up my marks and my lines and where they where they actually are so um, maybe that's what I'm going to do I might have to do it with something other than that I'm going to try a bunch of different tools and see which one. There we go. Now this might end up being a little more tedious than I want it to be. And if that is the case, I will figure out another way. But I really like that Payne's Gray color. Um, so we'll see. I may end up using just the black paint, paint marker uh, for this. So. I will be right back. Um, I'll play around and then I'll see you back here in a sec.
right, my mandala cover is done. Um, all the little bits and details have been added. So the next step is just for me to add my, put, let me put my uh, elastic back into its place so I don't lose it. And while my mandala is not perfect, I think I'm quite happy with it because you're only going to see, or I'm only going to see half at a time. But I do still really love how it turned out. It was very meditative, which mandalas tend to be. Um, and so I enjoyed this process. I did some journaling around the edge here just to give it a bit of a frame uh, using my Montana marker. And then I just put my little initials and dated it for today. So I'm quite happy with that. So now I just need to bring back all of my inserts. Very nice. And I think... Yeah, I think we're I think we're in a good place there. I want to go ahead and um, add a few more. I'm, I am going to add maybe two more: a craft paper um, insert and a black paper insert. I'm going to add those into my um, butterfly journal just so I can see how much stuff it can actually hold, and then. We'll do some swatching of the mermaid pens and, I'll, and the watercolors, and I'll do those on separate videos. So make sure you check down below. I'll have all the links for you to continue following me on this uh, Jane Davenport journey as I um, just sort of play around with these products and see what they can do. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you, again, if you, uh, even if you don't have this book, but if you create a canvas cover for a journal that has a mandala on it. I'd love to see what you're working on. Um, I can't wait to share with you what the month has been like. So far I'm finding a, little, a few little nuances, but I want to give it some time. It's literally been a couple of hours at this point. So I want to give it time before I make any kind of snap rush to judgment on, on the products. But I will give you my honest opinion when we um, have played, when I play with it for about 30 days, then I'll come back and share. But before then, check out the other two videos where I will be swatching the mermaid pen, mermaid markers, the watercolors, and playing a little bit with the paint over pens. Okay, see you back here soon. Bye.